Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. It is audiobooks week here at Book Riot and so today I want to talk to you guys about some tips about getting into fiction audiobooks. So I'm someone who has been sort of like a slow adopter of the audiobook world. I know a lot of people really really love them um, but for me personally I had kind of a hard time getting into them originally and so I wanted to talk about my experiences with getting into specifically fiction audiobooks which I had a harder time with and sort of how I got into them and also which books or which types of books I think work better on audiobook. So yeah one of the first things I realized was that for me audiobooks talked really slow. If you watch my videos or have listen to me speak at all. Um, I talk relatively fast or at least faster than the average person. I also like to listen to things faster than the average person and so one of the big game changers for me was being able to speed up audiobooks. I'm not quite at the level of some people. Like some people I know are always listening to things at like 2x speed and higher but I don't need things that fast. I usually listen to things at like the 1.25 to maybe 1.5 level. That's about a comfortable speed for me where I can still hear and understand all of the things that are happening and comprehend the story. Once it gets like faster than that I start to like lose the little details and things like that along the way and so usually 1.25 to 1.5 speed is a huge huge game changer for me. So if you aren't aware you can speed up audiobooks and even just like if you get library books from your local library you can speed those up as well using like the Libby app or the Overdrive app or the Hoopla app or whatever it is your local library uses. So definitely try that if you are someone who is having a hard time listening to audiobooks if you feel like you're getting bored or getting distracted. I also think speeding it up forces you to listened a little bit harder because everything's moving so fast so your brain sort of like or at least my brain sort of like clicks in a little bit better than when it's moving really really slow. So the second tip that I have is to try rereading a book on audio. I feel like this shouldn't be said but I will say it. Reread a book that you really really love. Um, so for me it was listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks which are really really well done. I've read them multiple times but I was in the mood for them last winter and I decided to give it a try on audio and I got the audiobooks from the library, I got the Jim Dale narrated versions and I really enjoyed that experience and I feel like that helped me sort of like set the tone for getting my brain used to listening to fiction books on audio. It helps that I already know the story so if I miss a detail here or there I'm not completely lost but again I think it just sort of like got my brain acclimated to listening to audiobooks. I've also been recently re-listening to the Lunar Chronicles books by Marissa Meyer. The book, first book is Cinder. Again those books are just so well narrated and already knowing the story it was good for my brain to be able to sort of get used to what was happening in the book and then get comfortable with listening to fiction books on audio. And then the final tip that I have for you guys is to listen to more plot centric stories on audio. I think that there's something about audio that can make the books feel more like cinematic. So books that have sort of a heavy plot to them just work really well on audio because it feels like you're watching a movie or at least for me it feels like I'm watching a movie in my head. So things that I gravitate towards again are young adult books um, partially because they're on the shorter side and partially again because they tend to be more plot centric. Um, not always but you know you can find those. Anything sort of like genre fiction-y like science fiction fantasy, mysteries, romance, I feel like all of those work really really well on audio because again they are very plot focused for the most part. So I've recently listened to a number of romance novels on audio. Some of the ones I really enjoy are A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole and I also listened to the second book of the series A Duke by Default and really enjoyed those on audio although I will say that A Duke by Default has the narrator doing a Scottish accent that is not the greatest so be forewarned for that. Another one that I listened to on audio that I really enjoyed was The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. So this week's videos are sponsored by Macmillan Audio and this specific video is sponsored by Barrage by Samia Dowd. This is also another book that would work really well on audio because it's a young adult science fiction fantasy story. In this story you are following 18 year old Amani who lives in this brutal empire. She dreams about what life was like before the occupation of writing poetry and of having her own adventures. But when adventure comes for her it's not quite what she expected. She ends up being kidnapped by the regime to become a body double for the princess. But since this is a young adult 
science fiction fantasy story, there is more happening in this world and with this empire than meets the eye. So like I said, this is a young adult science fiction fantasy. This is a debut story from Samia Dowd and the story is inspired by the author's Moroccan heritage. So if you have enjoyed the young adult stories from Saba Tahir or Tahar Mafi or Renee Adier, you'll probably like this one as well. And again, like I said, I think this will work really well on audio because young adult science fiction fantasy relatively short and it sounds like it's going to have a lot of plot to it because being a princess's body double is never going to be a very safe occupation. So yeah, if you want to pick up the audiobook for this one, you can head to macmillanaudio.com slash mirage to check it out. Uh, and thanks so much to them for sponsoring this video. Another series that I think works really well on audio is the Themis Files series by Sylvia Nuevo. The first book in that series is Sleeping Giants, which has a full cast as well as the way the book is written, it's all like files gathered together. So they're like transcripts and just documents and things like that. So that works really well as audio. So let me know down below what your experiences have been listening to fiction books specifically on audio. Um, again, like I said, I feel like it's been a thing that I have been almost teaching my brain how to get used to. Nonfiction, I had like no problem jumping into on audio. I think because I listened to so many like nonfiction type podcasts, my brain was already sort of acclimated to that sort of storytelling. But getting used to fiction took me a little bit more time, but I can tell that I'm starting to get used to it and even prefer it in certain situations. And also if you have recommendations for really well done audiobooks, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, another one that I have on my list to check out is Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I've heard from literally everyone <laughs> that that is a great audiobook production. I think again it's because Jim Dale does the audiobook so I've never read that book so it sounds like kind of a perfect one that I need to pick up but any other recommendations that you might have leave down below. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!